Hi there! Today, we're going to discuss the sixth part of our lecture. The sixth part is the different types of interview. Now, you must have been prepared for everything that you need in an interview. But, you still need to know what kind of interview you're going into. So for today, we're going to discuss the different types of interview. The first type of interview is what we call the screening interview. In this interview, your interviewer may use the different method. They may use a structured or a directive method of interview. With the structured method, they will be asking you a set of questions, which is the same for all applicants. So don't worry, these questions usually would be about yourself. Another method that they could use would be a directive approach. With this approach, the interviewer would ask you questions based on your answers. So it means the interviewer would control the whole interview process. But for the screening interview, this is the shortest part of any kind of interview because it is in this part wherein they would decide whether to take you, to let you be, or to think about it. So, even if it is the simplest kind of interview, usually this would be one of the most important interviews that you could go to because it is where you would know firsthand if you're in or not. The second kind of interview is we have the one-on-one -on -one interview. As it says, one-on-one, -on -one, one interviewer, one interviewee. For this kind of interview, the interviewer also uses the approach of structured and direct directive method. Just like with the screening interview, you would be asked structured questions or we would be asked questions based on your answer. But for a one-on-one -on -one interview, usually this would take a longer time. Not unlike with the screening interview, it is in this type of interview wherein everything about you would be asked by the interviewer. It is through this interview that you are assessed, evaluated, and judged on your competency, fluency, and adaptability to your work. Another kind of interview would be the phone interview. As the title says, a phone is being used in this interview. So, during this time, you won't have a chance to meet your interviewer face to face. For this kind of interview, the interviewer usually uses the structured interview and the behavioral method of interview. The behavioral method of interview is to assess how well you handle questions and how amiable you are when being talked to. Okay? So, whenever doing a phone interview, relax, prepare your resume in front of you, and be ready for all the questions that would be asked of you. Usually, this would only take a few minutes, and after which, if the interviewer is satisfied with your phone interview, then you would be invited to come over for a one-on-one -on -one interview. Next kind of interview is a different one from the first three. For this interview, we have the panel or committee interview. This is one of the best kinds of interview if you are the interviewer. But for the interviewee, this is one of the most frightening types of interview. It is because in panel or committee interview, there are two ways that they would do the interview. The first one is they would have a panel of human resource managers asking you questions. A panel would compose of about three to five members. Okay? The other kind of panel interview, this would be your 360-degree interview, wherein 
The panel could be composed of your supervisor, your department head, a customer, a client, a supplier, or a subordinate if you are applying for a supervisory position. With this kind of interview, they will evaluate how well you deal with different types of people, and it, it will also give the company a better view of how you answer or how you deal with different types of personalities. Now, besides the panel interview, this is another kind of interview, which is not the common one. We have the case study interview. In the case study interview, this is usually using situational or directive methods. Situational, we're in, they would give you a situation and they would give you time to come up with solutions. For a case study interview, you need to research a lot of things and to learn many things about not only the company, but also the work, the clients, the form of job that you're applying for, and the nature of the job. In a case study interview, usually, this will take about a day or a week to finish, and after which you are evaluated with the output that you come up with. There would be no questions similar with an interview, but it would be more on what you research on. The next kind of interview, we have your site or second round interview. This kind of interview, you should be happy if you are given this kind, because it means they are interested in you and they would want to hear more from you. But beware, with a site or second round interview, usually this is where they would be choosing whom they would be picking. So if you are in the second round of interviews, always put your best. If you gave 100% in your first interview, this time you should give it 200%. Be sure to sell yourself and not just to advertise yourself. For the last type of interview, we have the most stressful and the least looked forward to type of interview. We now have your stress interview. This type of interview, it will test you as a person, as a leader, and it will also test how far you can go to please your employers. Questions here would be stress questions regarding situations we're in Sometimes you think it's difficult to solve, but remember what they're looking for is not what you answer, but on how you answer. The more relaxed, the more composed, and the more sure you are with your answers, then that would be a big plus for you. Be careful with this kind of interview because the interviewer would try anything to make you lose focus and would put you out of your zone. So, that would end the sixth part of our lecture. Next time, we are going to talk about how to dress up for an interview. So that would be all for now. Thank you very much, and see you again.